Hey guys, welcome back to this Just Survive live mic segment. It's been about three weeks since I uploaded the update for the live server and news has been rather quiet. As though I needed to tell you guys that, right? I've seen uh, many posts in the Reddit forums. People are still talking, still active. I've seen a few little bases here and there here on the test server where I normally hang out and or play. And as you can see, <laughs> although it's been three weeks since we've had the update, I'm just now putting down my foundation and getting my base set up here because it's been it's been uh, it's been a busy time for the channel. I've been doing other things as you guys have probably seen. So I do appreciate your guys' patience and understanding. It's just uh, the nature of the way things are going right now, just across the gaming world, the gaming community. And so it's great to have you guys um, here still watching the content and being a part of the channel. So thank you guys for all of your support. And another thing I wanted to mention, as I see you guys have been posting, if you guys aren't familiar with who Jace Hall is, he's a... Uh, Video, TV, and game producer with Monolith is the name of his company. And um, he has been familiar with uh, the Daybreak people going all the way back to SOE. <clears throat> so he's been around or has known the, the people in the business for quite some time. I, I like Chase Hall. I think he's a great guy. He's, um, you know, you, you see that he's been very active and participating in a lot of activity going on with the H1Z1 team and the community. We don't know exactly to what extent his activity is, but I know people are quite excited and I see a lot of posts uh, that centers around a revert. You guys might recall that the game was, um, or the Z1 was reintroduced back into the game after a community a community survey was conducted. You guys might remember all of that from not too long ago. What were your guys' thoughts on that revert back to um, Z1? Just curious if you guys were around for all that. Because uh, something that people wanted, people demanded. And I think um, it kind of harkens back to something that I've talked about before. And that is that I wonder if other developers will adopt this people sourcing type style for the game because alphas are a very unique period in a game development and it's typically not when you would see just I would say lay people participating in it it's normally in and many times in the, uh, the alphas are under NDA as well like with Pantheon Rise of the Fallen which is in uh, stage three early alpha or pre-alpha stage three. I have to be very specific. I have to be very specific because uh, <laughs> the fans of the game uh, will will bring that up to me if I don't mention it directly. So, yeah, so here we are. It's uh, three years into the game. It is, uh, we're nearing, well, kind of nearing the end of, end of summer right now. And... So far, we've not had like any like official news direction, game map, producer letter, all those things that we were accustomed to back in the day when the game was being released and when um, there was uh, more frequent information out there. And lately, we've not had a whole lot. I know that there's been like some little minor stuff done to the game. I'm going to just grab the material I need to make a chest here real quick so I can get that down. But as far as like my particular thoughts or opinions and whatnot on the game itself, I've always maintained the same one. And that is that I'm here to cover the game because it's a game. It's out there. It's may not be as popular as it used to be, but nonetheless, I know there's like fans out there like myself that like to hear uh, players opinions about games or updates and other things that go on in the game and and that's kind of you know kind of why like how I centered my channel was to be able to bring that type of information to players and just commentary and thought and 
the ability for people to share their ideas and perceptions and things about the game that they're playing as opposed to just you know I guess direct gameplay if you want to just call it direct gameplay but just general conversation and I kind of like building all these parts together because I've had bases actually disappear right as I'm like in the process of making the wood chest so that's kind of why I did want to go ahead and <laughs> make the make the um, the placeable or socketable item as they call it there the wall piece you guys of course are always welcome to leave your thoughts and opinions in the public section down there below and let me know what you guys think and I'm glad that you guys have um, you know stuck it out and I hear a lot from you guys that have been around the game for a long time you know since you know basically day two I guess would be you know the technical definition of uh, when we actually started playing for most of us I had like one guild mate that was actually able to uh, get into the game on the first day and so he pretty much just told us all that was going on and what we could expect and things that he was experiencing and we were just pretty much just uh, learning from the game from him and it, I think even then uh, I remember they were having issues with loot itself you guys might recall that um there's very little very little loot and I think it was because of the rotten food you guys might recall whether it was the rotten food that was causing the hang-ups in the in the game and whatnot but this game really launched with some major 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 hype I mean it was like they had people like co carnage and some big-time streamers helping to um, launch the game and get things going with it so it was kind of neat to see all that there was a lot of excitement in the game and this week was kind of big news with the Daybreak team. And that was that on the 7th of this week, this the 7th day of August, was the release of H1Z1 Battle Royale and Vehicle Royale on the console. And I've seen a lot of console players come here to the channel and ask me a lot of questions about the game. But of course, what we do here is and the MMO version of the game, as it were, just for the sake of definition, is a little different. And, of course, they are asking whether or not the game will be... Uh, whether or not uh, this format, MMO, will come to the console. And I don't anticipate that it will. Uh, right now, we're, you know, basically just trying to determine what's going to happen to us, the MMO-style players. You'll also have to let me know how many of you guys are still still playing and then like maybe how many of you guys are actually just waiting to see what's going to happen. You know, have you have you gone ahead and put JS on the shelf and you're just going to wait and see um, what's going to happen? We could uh, Let's see what we got here. Worn letter. Great. Matter of fact, I was going to mention it. I actually found a green survivor backpack and a double bit axe within like the first five minutes of, of having logged in, which I thought was kind of interesting. I still haven't found a uh, backpack, or I'm sorry, I still haven't found a uh, sleeping bag yet that I need for the base as well. But I am picking up some other incidentals that are nice to have. So just uh, wanted to take a few minutes, let you guys know that yes, I am still around and I am keeping an eye on the game. And you guys had may have noticed I made some chance some changes to the channel, being the introduction of the Friday Vlog and some Civilization VI, and then of course recently the Pantheon video, because the channel must go on. You know, we, there's always going to be something going on with the channel, and even with the slowness of just survive, um, you know, it's just it can't be just the one game just survive. Uh, people have asked me if I'm going to play any of the uh, H1Z1 game, and I haven't really... I mean, I don't mind the Battle Royale game at all. I mean, I kind of... You know, it's, it's fun. It's enjoyable. I did enjoy it. I did find it to be a lot of fun. But, um, you know, I just would prefer something like a Battlefield or maybe even a Call of Duty. Something I've considered. But I did order or pre-order Battlefield. So if you guys are wanting to... Uh, Maybe check out some of that gameplay once that goes live. I will be playing some Battlefield, that's for sure. I was kind of hoping it was going to be the modern version of Battlefield, but unfortunately, it was not. And um, and so, but I just wanted to head and just pick the game up anyway, just to 
to uh, get back into the battlefield because that was the original game that I did cover. Guys, that's pretty much it. It's kind of an impromptu, out of the blue kind of kind of uh, video that I wanted to do for you guys, a live mic. But I basically just wanted to let you guys know, yes, I'm still around. I'm still very happy to cover the game for you guys. And uh, when we get updates or information, I'll certainly let you guys know. So on that note, let's go ahead and do a traditional type closing here. And that is uh, to thank all of you guys for your participation here on the channel. And be sure, guys, that you click on that watermark there to subscribe so that you guys will have all the latest out of Daybreak and just survive. And I will see you guys in the next update, hopefully soon, and or information pertaining to the game.